Hello guys, welcome to the second uh, video on Node.js server-side development. So uh, this, is a, this is not a very long video. Uh, I'll quickly show you how to um, uh, start the uh, CentOS or virtual server uh, without uh, a GUI and uh, how to connect it connect to the uh, Linux server via SSH so uh, this is how you are going to do that um, um, first you need to start the um, virtual server without the uh, GUI or oh, it's called headless so uh, first open up the uh, command prompt I'm gonna type uh, CMD and press enter and now we are in the command prompt now um, I'm going to the um, I'm going to change the directory to the location where I installed the uh, virtual box program so it's uh, CD space um, C um, program files and by the way when you press uh, tab it will complete the uh, path so uh, program files slash um, oracle and press enter so um, if we type dir um, you can see the virtual box directory so I'm gonna once again type cd virtual box and press enter okay now I'm gonna uh, clear this clear, clear the screen by typing cls and uh, now let's type dir again as you can see it's um, the virtual box program so uh, I'm gonna clear the uh, screen again and now I'm gonna start the um, Linux our uh, virtual server uh, without headless so uh, this is how you are gonna do that type uh, v box manage start vm and the name of your um, uh, virtual box uh, vm it's a uh, uh, send os 7 and uh, you need to use the type flag it's dash dash type space headless and press enter as you can see it's uh, the CentOS VM is booting up without a GUI so now we can just um, close the command prompt and our server is running in the background uh, now let's open up uh, um, Visual Studio Code it type Visual, sorry, Visual Studio Code okay so um, first you need to go here to the extensions and type uh, remote SSH this program I'm going to show you remote SSH okay so yeah this is the uh, extension you need to install uh, I have already installed it so I'm not going to do that again uh, but uh, if you haven't installed it you'll see a uh, install button right here so you can see in uh, in the below um, extensions that I haven't installed this is the uh, install button you, you, you need to click that uh, for the remote SSH and after that uh, you might need to um, restart the uh, Visual Studio code uh, or maybe not um, so now uh, you can if you have successfully installed the uh, remote SSH extension you will see this uh, small icon uh, you need to click that and um, click uh, open SSH configuration file and uh, I'm going to use uh, the the first one okay now we need to type the uh, 
details of our virtual server or virtual VM in order to connect it to uh, connect it via um, SSH. So uh, first, let's type uh, host, and the host is uh, it's a name you can give for this connection. So I'm going to type uh, virtual server and now the host name host name host name is uh, in this case the IP address of your um, virtual machine so I'm gonna type the one I set for this virtual machine which is 192.168.1.152 and um, now the uh, user user is um, its root and uh, port it's 22 which is uh, the default SSH port so now I'm gonna save this configuration yes save and I'm gonna close it now and I'm gonna click this uh, remote SSH icon again now I'm gonna click connect to host and you can see our virtual server right here so now I'm gonna um, click it and uh, now I'm gonna type the platform of our uh, virtual server which is Linux of course and it's asking for the password for the virtual server which is one two three okay it's gonna take a little bit it's gonna take some time to download the uh, VS Code uh, server onto the uh, virtual server so um, let's see okay it's done now as you can see we are connected to the a virtual server um, yeah here here you can see the terminal uh, you can execute commands uh, remotely on the uh, virtual uh, server or virtual machine for example um, you can navigate to the home folder CD show. So um, this is how you um, connected connect to the uh, virtual server via SSH. So uh, stay with me uh, for the next video. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll see how to create a Node.js server, a simple Node.js server. Um, so yeah uh, if you learned something please subscribe to my channel and like this video see you soon